This is Greater Manchester, the 10 local care organisation based on 10 local authorities. They are very separate um, places, but they come together as a whole and um, have a huge amount um, of, of work that they do um, alongside each other. The vision for, um, for Greater Manchester was set out in our plan, taking charge um, uh, for health and social care uh, in 2016 and um, the basis of that plan was um, building localities in those 10 areas um, devolving uh, responsibility as far as we could into those uh, those places and that we looked and uh, built upon uh, the work that they were doing across organisations. Somewhere like Tameside where they've um, managed to, they can't pull but they've aligned about a billion pounds worth of council spend, of hospital spend, of CC CG spend and bringing that together. The trick for us really is um, taking the £6 billion worth of devolved funding and building that together with the, with the £22 billion of public sector funding that's available to the residents of our conurbation. We spent about £30 million now, or committed £30 million of, of money into population health specifically um, we're going to be looking at things like incentivization for behavior change through um, points providers but we're looking at those wider determinants as well as um, the sorts of investments one would traditionally make to improve the population's health and the coming together of our organizations means that we have less of a debate about where the money's going to come from. One of the programs that we've um, really focused on is, is work, um, getting people back into work. Um, about uh, 240,000 people are out of work in Greater Manchester and about 150,000 of those are there for health reasons. And by putting a small amount of money into our early help scheme, we hope to be um, preventing people from falling out of employment when they go to the GP for a fit note, um, for example, by providing them with support and help at that early stage, um, which evidence shows um, really does make a difference. Some of the more traditional things that we're doing around um, uh, health improvement, uh, around uh, smoking and tobacco, have been um, in, in the hospital sector. We're just rolling out a cure programme, which is based on the Ottawa model of treating tobacco addiction um, as that, an addiction, and really actively managing people within hospital but that goes alongside a huge amount of work outside of hospital around thinking about um, illegal tobacco looking at uh, what we might do to um, change the attitude to smoking within the population people are really up for more change about um, banning smoking in more public places in parks outside public buildings etc and with that sort of um, support behind us we think we can apply to uh, for national legislation around um, extensions to smoking ban control of tobacco sales through um, licensing of tobacco we are seeing early signs of this joined up working having an effect um, we are seeing uh, a reduction in smoking prevalence and we think um, on the latest data we've got that we're reducing the gap between uh, Greater Manchester and the rest of England. We've got uh, a big programme first in the country to um, do uh, joined up commissioning with the police around liaison and diversion. So if you're arrested and you have a health issue, mental health particularly, then you will be diverted out of the uh, criminal justice system and supported rather than being left um, uh, to go through the court system. And that's having a really big impact on what we're doing. That would not have been possible without the sort of joined up working that, that, that we've got in Greater Manchester. Our biggest advocate is our mayor. Um, uh, he sees the power of a city region, a something that's fundamental and he gave a very um, uh, uh, fantastic speech uh, a couple of months ago now um, uh, about uh, what it is to uh, develop a vision for health and social care in Greater Manchester and he said as Secretary of State for Health you can have a vision for health services but as Mayor of Greater Manchester you can have a vision for people's health and I think that's a real um, uh, powerful statement to make and something that he is actually living um, uh, through the devolution uh, agenda and that he thinks there's a real difference between those two that devolution holds the key to breaking down the silos between public services and moving from a picking up the pieces to a preventative approach and if we can achieve that in Greater Manchester I think we'll be doing a fantastic job thank you